Hey guys, welcome back to the Backseat Driver Show. Today we are going to talk about the top three cars for the Brooke petrol hit. So on my right we have Idris, on my left we have Jonathan. Um, we're doing this topic because, you know, times are bad, COVID-19, the pandemic, uh, or if maybe you are just starting out, uh, got your first job, or maybe starting a family and you kind of want to you're looking for a car and yet you're still a petrol hit and yet you still need to save some money. Yes. This would be right up your alley. Yes, that is right. Yep. So you guys got your top three, huh? Yes. But okay. I'm starting to think that my top three is still quite expensive. But I mean, again, okay, in, okay. <laughs> yeah, in the context of today's, you know, cost okay. of living. <laughs> okay, okay. Idris, what's your yeah. number three? All right, my number three is a car which is quite popular. Oh. It is the Mitsubishi Lancer. GLX, also known as the CS3. CS3. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a very good car. You can get it from around 5k Depri. Oh, sometimes wow. you can even find some at about four. Sometimes they're a bit more expensive. The thing is, about the Lancer is not a very powerful car. The 4G18 engine, 1.6 liters, only makes about 100, 100 or so brake horsepower. Mm, mm. And torque is like 140. So it's not a fast car by any means. But if you can can, modify them? Well, even if you modify, it's not going to be very fast. But performance is not its thing. It's actually quite reliable, that engine. It's a very simple, single weight cam engine. But there are a lot of parts available for this car. Especially when you talk about aftermarket parts. Like for example, it has a full aftermarket exhaust system, a full system from Drift Racing. Not many cars in Singapore have approved systems which are a full system. And it also has independent multi-link rear suspension, which oh, okay. is quite unique. So if you want to get a car where you can learn about driving dynamics and going fast and all mm. that, it's a very safe platform for you to get into the whole driving thing. So I think mm. the CS3 is a pretty good choice, but please don't put an evolution body kit on it <laughs> or evolution spoiler. Just don't do that. Just okay. <laughs> There's a lot of parts, but just don't go to This car just reminds me of our colleague, uh, Zushian. Zushian. Yeah, he drives a CS3, yes. he's a Trekkie, he wants to put roll cage, <laughs> he does a lot of stuff to his car. I yeah. mean, but yeah, every time I look at the CS3, it just reminds me of him. Yeah, and he really loves that car. Yeah, he loves that it's car. It's not hard to see car. why. Yeah. Uh, you really can drive that car, you can push it, and well, you won't kill yourself really because it's not, <laughs> it's not very quick. Um, very fun car. A lot of people started out with the CS3 mm. and have moved on to a uh, different mix of uh, performance and enthusiast cars. So if you're just starting out looking for a car, that the will Lancer be is good. Okay. Insurance is also quite affordable. So good choice, I think. All right, three. Right, right, right. What about you guys? John? For me, uh, I was thinking in the shoes of someone who's going to buy their first car. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. And for my number three, I think especially when the times are bad now um, actually in the market there are a lot of second-hand private hire cars available mm. uh, because uh, some companies are letting go of those cars at very cheap prices I see. because there are not enough drivers to, okay. to man those cars mm -hmm. and one such model is actually the Mazda 3 okay um, you can get a relatively new ish that means maybe mm -hmm. two years old two year old Mazda 3s with a debris of high six thousands to low seven thousands okay okay yeah so 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 for for a young driver who wants to buy a car mm. i mean the cheap one of the cheapest new cars you can get is the atrage yes mm. and that debris is around mid six okay mm. okay yeah, so if you were able to stomach the thought that this car was used to drive a lot of people around okay um, there's actually a lot of Mazda 3s available on SG Karma okay. second hand yes, used car page. Yes. Okay. And because the supply is so high, as a driver, your bargaining power is also higher. Because you ah, can right, 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 right. You can really go shop around and get the best deal. Yeah. And I would say that uh, private hire cars might not be as um, run down as you think, you know, because especially these cars are only about two years old and it's not as if uh, the drivers trash their cars mm. uh, and the interior actually when you get into a, a Grab or Uber you know 
the, the interior is usually quite clean, right? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. They want to maintain the high five star rating. Of course. So actually, I I would argue that these used cars are actually more well maintained than. Oh, that's quite a good point. Regular used cars, but maybe not, really not so much on the engine side where yeah. they might whack the car and mm. they might not put it through a lot of maintenance. Mm. But that you know you're gambling every time you're buying a used car, so mm. you know just go and check send the car for inspection before you buy it but I feel that there is a good deal to be had when you went for uh, some 2-3 to three year old Mazda 3s. Right. Fair enough. Fair uh, Mazda 3 isn't enough. really an enthusiast car. <laughs> <laughs> Petrol heads have to start from somewhere. Okay. <laughs> for my number two and number one choice. Okay, okay. Okay, well, my number three choice is actually a very expensive car. That's I, I feel that it's very expensive. I mean, it has a depreciation of about 15,000. <laughs> really? Yeah, I know, I know. But here's hey, my argument. Yeah, bro, I know, I know. Okay, here's my <laughs> argument, right? I mean, the upfront payment, I mean, it's about 30, about 30,000. No more than 31,000 on actually how much uh, used car page. Uh, why I chose this car is because it, it, I feel that it's very much perfect for the first time buy or not really broke but you know first time petrol head sort of okay I came from the petrol head perspective and not so much of the cost but that's it uh, the, this is the most expensive hence it's my number three okay but I think it's a very unique desirable car very capable and very fast mighty quick actually and that will be the Polo GDI. Oh. Yeah, I would think that the Polo G GDI was one of the cars that I've driven that had a lot of torque steer. There's so much torque steer that it just felt that it, it was as if it had too much power for its own good, but yet it was very much, uh, it was very fun on the road and all that kind of stuff. But that said, it's 15,000 ish yeah. depreciation. It's you, a bit steep. Yeah, you probably can buy a Golf GTI with that kind of depreciation. Uh, definitely, yeah, definitely, 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 definitely. Yeah. But yeah. everyone is driving a GTI. No one is driving a Polo GTI. That's desirable. Okay. Mm -hmm. I do like Volkswagens, but uh, yeah, that's going to be really expensive if you're, if you're starting yeah, out with budgets. That's how you go broke. Yeah, that's yes. a, good point. Good point, yes. John. Good point. Uh, yeah, so that's my number three. What is your number two? So, number two for me, when it comes to a budget petrol hit and 2ZS car, is the Suzuki Swift Sport. Specifically, the ZC31S. Now, mm, that spot car... On, spot on. Yeah. That's a, that, I think a lot of people have started out with a Swift Sport as their mm, first mm. enthusiast car. And it's not hard to see why. It's 1.6 litre M16A engine makes about 130 horsepower. It's a very high revving engine. And uh, it's also quite reliable too. Mm, mm. And when it comes to aftermarket parts, you have a lot of support too. Yeah. Uh, you have Monster Sport, RRP, mm. a lot of different brands and even workshops which specialise in the Swift Sport. I think you and I have both driven yeah, Swift yeah. Sports and we feel that they're very fun cars. You can Absolutely. just chuck them around yeah. and you know, you're not going to break any yeah. speed, or rather you might break speed limits a little bit, but you know, you're not going to kill yourself yeah, yeah. if you're chucking a Swift Sport around some small, twisty roads. Um, and yeah. I actually fun prefer car. the ZC32 because it had the sixth gear, mm. whereas 31 only had five gears, so when you reach Cruising is like 3,500 and you're like, wow. Yeah. You hear the engineers going, oh, then you're like, wow, it's just painful. I think the ZC31 is more affordable because mm. the ZC32, although it's coming close to COE renewal, those, it had a very high COE. Yeah, it was, it was, it was very COE. expensive. It was yeah. very, very expensive, yes. And the only downside of the Swiss Sport, I feel, is that, well, because of the Sport name, insurance can get a little bit high mm. if mm. you're in your 20s and mm. it's going to be your first car and you have no NCD. Put in your dad's name. But yeah, if you put in your dad's name. But I mean, if really budget is an issue, you can look at a manual 1.5 Swift. I think that also that should provide well. some yeah. fun. Just yeah. don't drop in an M16A. That's illegal. Okay, just keep it 1.5. <laughs> Right. All so right. nice car, I think. Excellent, yeah. excellent, excellent. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, my my you know? number two car, I hope it's petrol head enough. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, it is the Mazda MX Five. Oh, oh okay. okay. Yeah, oh, that's fine. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So yeah. the the third gen, the NC. Uh, mm. You can find them on actually come up for about seven thousand dollars degree, mm. and uh, obviously these cars are going to be about ten years old. Mm. Yeah, uh, or more. Mm. Yeah. So you're going to buy it with a new ten years COE, la. 
So there's a bit of a risk there. And mm. a lot of people say that the, the third gen, the NC, is not as pure as the first two generation mm. uh, because uh, it's bigger and heavier and the ground clearance is a lot higher. Mm. But actually, the length of the NC is just a couple of centimeters longer and it's only less than 100 kilograms heavier. Mm. And the ground clearance issue, um, only the first few production runs are subsequent ones that I think you get after 2000. I okay. Remember. Okay. Those have the lower ground clearance, so actually you're pretty much getting that same fun 50-50 yeah, balance yeah, yeah, yeah. drive from the MX-5. Mm. And for a degree of 7K, I think a petrol head who is broke can go for it. What was yeah. the motor that Mazda uses, men and machine as well? What's the one in Japanese? It's, it's the one, the guy on the horse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It just slipped my mind. Name, yeah. It just slipped my mind. Uh, Some Japanese thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's not Kodo. Uh, there's, no, 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 there's no. no, no. It's uh, some G, J in it. G, uh, uh, Jinmai. Itai. No, yeah, Jinmai. Right. Jinmai yeah. Itai. Or Jun, Jinmai Itai or something. Yeah. Like, it, or, yeah, or some hentai or some Jinmai. Our producers itai. will edit in later. Yeah. Jinmai yeah. Itai. Yeah. Oh, that is a good choice. I uh, And also it looks pretty good. Yes. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So if you like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, really? I feel a bit embarrassed because I realized that your deep is. I mean, I, I actually chose a swift spot. Mm. Then I was thinking you would have definitely taken it, so I didn't want to put it in <laughs> like, for sure. Yeah, uh, I was afraid you're gonna choose yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, I. Then I started, you know, thinking about stuff and then looking through the used SG Kamas used car page, and I realized that my choices are really bloody expensive mm. because both of you really. I mean, it makes sense that this should be the pro petrol head. But that said, my car, my number two choice is a true blue. Uh, enthusiast car. You can get it for about 9,000 uh, Dupree. Ah, okay. uh, below 10 for sure. Um, I think I can guess. Never mind, never mind. No, no, no. You, you won't be able to guess. Uh, oh, really? Okay. My okay. number two is a uh, 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 RS. Actually. Oh, okay. Oh, Renault okay. Bergen RS. I going to say type. Uh, yeah. oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Why would I say that? Why would I say that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Bergen, uh, Renault Bergen RS. I, I mm. thought that was uh, fantastic. Uh, car for the first timers because or rather you know thinking that it's below 10,000 uh, uh, Dupree mm. is you know is, in today's context is actually quite a good deal yeah. um, and the full 10 years I'm talking about full 10 years right it drives very well uh, 6 speed manual handles very well the clutch isn't I don't remember it being as heavy and meaty so it's still very usable on a daily basis the only thing that I thought was a problem is, is that it's a 3 door car Mm -hmm. So if you have a family, then maybe that car will be out. But then again, it will be the same for the MX-5. So, yeah. yes. you know, but I would think that that would be a excellent petrol hit car, for sure. It is. Not yes. many people think about the Megane RS. Yes. I think that's yes. a very good choice. That is an excellent choice. Mm -hmm. I, at least that's what I think. Yeah, <laughs> I think so too. I think yeah. so too. Well, what is your number one choice? Alright, my number one, uh, some people might disagree mm -hmm. with me. Because some people think this car can get a bit expensive when it comes to running and maintaining it. Okay. It is the Subaru Impreza WRX. Oh. <laughs> so okay. the thing is about the WRX is that even in the STI form, it is one of the cheapest, I mean, top level Japanese performance sedans that you can buy. Mm. Even the STI when compared to the Evo, it's still cheaper, I mean, yes. from the start yeah. when you in, actually in buy the car. Also. Yeah. It was about 11. Yes, okay. that's right. And you can find WRX, I mean, the Hawkeye, and sometimes you might find a Blob Eye, or in Singapore, also known as the Cock Eye, for about 7 to 8k Dupree. Now, right. some mm. people say that it is a 2.5, mm. and it's going to be a bit more expensive when it comes to road tax. Mm. But I think this all pays off because you do get the performance you do get the large array of aftermarket parts available for the car mm, yes and you can find a lot of variations of the wrx which suits your needs yeah so you have the automatic versions which is a four speed automatic the four eat but that's a very strong gearbox i think i've heard people push up to 400 horsepower and the gearboxes still stay strong still in one piece the only problem is insurance now, I think in my list, the WRX is probably the most expensive car to insure. And if you're in your 20s, sometimes you pro probably insurance companies don't even want to in insure you because of the fact that it is a WRX. 
So uh, if you are okay with the automatic transmission, the 4-speed auto, if you can find this specific model, the Impreza SGT. Yes. Impreza oh, SGT. I, 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 <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's very special because that's a 2 liter G20. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And uh, well, it's, I think it's a JDM twin scroll, if I'm not wrong, turbo. So that's going to be cheaper on your road tax and your insurance because it doesn't have WRX in it. It's going to be cheaper to the insure. Six thousand plus. Yes, yeah, yeah. and you got tons of parts. I mean, this engine, this platform has been shared across more than a decade. So, a lot of specialist workshops, all that kind of stuff. Easy car to yeah. make power. I yes. feel so. If you can tahan the insurance, WRX. I okay. think it's a good choice. And the SGT has that scoop. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Scoop, yeah. So it it's, it's, it's more gentle. A lot of yeah. people might just think your uh, Impreza, one point five, but your an SGT. Yeah, yeah. You can smoke kind of light. Yes. My number one might not be a petrol hit pick, but you know, uh, in one of the Need for Speed games, it was the police car. It's actually the Lexus IS two hundred and fifty. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. <laughs> I'm condescending on you. <laughs> it can look quite sporty, but to me, it has a very low degree. Uh, okay, six, okay, 6,000 plus. Okay, okay. okay. That's yeah, 6,000 plus for a V6. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 10.5 liter V6. Yes, and it makes about 200 mm. horsepower. Yes. I think, as a beginning petrol head, mm. For your first car, you get a uh, Lexus. It's, it's not bad. Yeah, it's mm. quite, it's quite atas. I mean, to get yeah, a first car, yeah, yeah. Lexus is first car. I mean, uh. Some of it, they do look very old. Uh, the mm, beige, mm. cream-colored leather seat has mm. a lot of stains. But if you manage to snag yourself a facelifter version mm, where yeah. the leather seats are black, yep. it's actually it looks perfectly fine. And it has ventilated seats. Oh, is it? Yes. Okay. Huh? Um, can, uh? can, can, can. <laughs> can no I problem. Okay. Not well, from here. Okay. well, that engine is very, very unique. It sounds very good, actually. Mm. I mean, if you... You know, alter the exhaust a little bit. It actually sounds like a mini GTR. Because mm. it's a V6. Um, but okay, yeah, I can agree. That's quite a fun car, I feel. Um, but I've always liked the IS. I always thought mm. that the IS was a very sporty car. Yeah. Um, albeit a little too expensive. I always thought it was quite expensive. Then, la, then, mm. then. Now it would be, you know, cheaper. Um, yeah. But I think my number one is number one because it's the cheapest and I think it's the most kick ass car any broke petrol hit should consider, including myself. I would have gotten this car if it wasn't because I have a family. Uh, if I'm a swinging single, I think this would be the car I would definitely go for. And my number one is the Suzuki Jimny. Ooh. I think the Jimny is not okay. exactly like a petrol hit, petrol hit sort of thing. But I mean, mm. it's like saying it's a Land Rover Defender owner. A petrol hit could be, right? Yeah. I mean, you know. So the, 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 the Jimny sort of like, shares that same sentiment and I kind of like how it looks. I don't really like the colour. I would have taken grey or black, mm. a more subtle dark colour, uh, good for jungle bashing and stuff. It drives horribly, to be quite honest. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just, ah! Uh, but therein lies its charm, I feel. Mm. It's about, in the used car market, you can get one for about 6,000 inch Dupree, which is fantastic. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh. not bad. Um, it's, it's fantastic. I don't know how come the guy is selling so cheap. Maybe it's a one-off thing. So if you are keen, you should go and check uh, as you come on used car site mm. right now. I actually saw several on the roads and every time I see one, I just go, wow, excellent taste. Mm. Like, you know what I mean? Like, money can't buy you taste. And, and this car is, is, is like a classic example of, you know, if you don't really have such deep pocket like us, you can still have very good taste in cars. And deep pitching. pockets like us? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> no, if you don't really have such... Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, actually. Okay, you know, okay. Yeah. We but, don't but, have deep pockets. So yeah, we don't have deep pockets. Yeah. But I mean, if you, you know, if you don't... Yeah, correct, but if you don't have deep pockets, just like us. <laughs> oh, just, just like, like us. Yeah, okay, what I meant okay. was just like us. Then, uh, I, I mean, uh, uh, Jimmy would be right up there. I, I think yeah. a Jimmy would be right up there. Unfortunately, it's a three-door car. It's best for two, really. And uh, I mean, yeah, the back seat is, is 
It's mm. a bit hard. Not really. I, 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 I had the car seat in the back seat before. Oh. But yeah, and mm. every time I had to carry my daughter in, I had to fold the seat and really put her in and strap her up and climb out again. So it's a bit painful. Mm. But yeah. I guess that's the price to pay, right? Yeah, so I, I guess. I, I guess today a two-seater. Yeah, that's a good starter car if you're interested in, you know, the lifestyle of off-roading and overlanding and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think in the next couple of years with a 6 kd pre like that, it might get quite affordable. Yeah, yeah. so more modifications. Really. I mean, to the mm. looks. Nine mm. out of ten, mm. okay, not nine out of ten, but maybe four out of five chimneys I see on the road, they've done some. Yeah, yeah, and I actually like the ones with the LED uh, uh, headlights, the, the ah, daytime okay. running lights. They put the the, the, the the circumference of the the, yeah. the, 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 the angel the, eye looking ones. Yeah, and it's just so sweet looking. Mm. I just thought it was a really perfecto mondo sort of car to have. I would love to have one in my garage, but I can't afford one, and I already have a family, so having this is just gonna be a bit of a pain. Mm. Yeah. Yes. So. That is our top three cars for the Brook Petrol Heads. Okay. After listening to both your lists, I just realized that my list sucks, man. Yeah. <laughs> but surprisingly, <laughs> there is no Type I in our list because the Type I is so damn expensive. Yeah, it's yeah. just it's not exactly the, the, the most. But okay, but your Rex isn't exactly the cheapest as well. That's true. Right? Your Rex isn't exactly the cheapest. Yeah. Uh, so and my Magen RS was was. I mean, I would have swapped my Bergen RS for something else, but I would still stick to my Polo GTI, despite it ha- despite it having like fifteen thousand uh, Dupri, because the the purchase price is like thirty thousand, mm. right? So if you want to try it out, you can actually. I, I think it's money well spent. It'll be money well, I mean, well worth it. Mm. Well worth it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yep. All right. So that is our top three choices uh, for the Brom Petrol Heads. Right now, we are going to move on to the all new segment that we. Oh, oh, oh right, sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh, sh- so there you have it. That is our top three cars for the Brook Patrol Heads. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Even though it sounded ridiculous, I'm actually referring to myself. It does sound very ridiculous. I mean, yeah, it's so the top three used cars. Yeah, yeah, top three used cars. But I just realized after listening to both of you, it's just ridiculous. Okay, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed the, the <laughs> short video. Yeah. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell notification button so that you'll be notified every time we upload new videos. Uh, oh yeah, and please comment in the comment box below and tell us what you think about the video, uh, what are your top three choices, uh, what top three use cards for the Road Patrol In the meantime, stay safe, be well, thank you for watching, ciao!